But I used to smoke cigarettes. I used to smoke maybe, God oh, no, how many cigarettes a day? I used to smoke like eight cigarettes a day. Um, you know, after meals, when you wake up with a coffee sort of thing. Um, so at the beginning of the year, 2016, January, January, I started using the vaping things. Uh, I did two days with the vaping, no, three days with the vaping, and then I had a cigarette after, and it tasted like shit. I had the smell of the cigarettes on my hands and everything. It tasted fucking disgusting. It was horrible. Um, so I was like, fuck this. I'm going to be continue to vape. I continued to do it for about another month. Then I went out with this chick. Uh, and it was my biggest test ever. Um, we went to this club. We was drinking margaritas, like a land club, you know? was drinking margaritas and stuff, margaritas, and then we, um, people's going outside for a cigarette, I've got my fucking vape, I'm drinking now, alcohol in my system, I need my cigarette. But I went outside anyway, I continued to vape, and it was fine, I was okay with it, you know, it wasn't, I needed something a little stronger than this voltage, but it got me through it, I didn't ask anyone for a cigarette, I didn't feel like I needed to go and buy a packet cigarettes, but I wanted one, but I didn't care because I had this. Um, and that was my biggest test. So from that day forward, I knew that I've gotten over the whole cigarette addiction, like the actual real cigarette addiction. Um, because when I drink is when I smoke the most and when I'm most likely to just like, you know, go for a pack of 20, you know? Um, so now when I go out drinking, I'm fine with this. I'm comfortable with it. Um, it's been... What's it now? It's like mid July or beginning of July. So, and I've relapsed maybe three times. I've had like a cigarette just at work and someone smoking like a menthol. I'm like, oh, let me have one of those. Um, so I've done that about three times. So I've had about all in total about four cigarettes this year. Um, but I do smoke these. Um, what I've noticed when I came off of cigarettes um, in the early stages, was my dark circles. I still get them because I work crazy hours um, and I, I lack sleep. I work nights a lot. Um, but the, the really darkness of this, like the unhealthy looking darkness, that went within like a week, you know? I, I was hoping it was all going to clear up so it wouldn't have any darkness underneath my eyes, but there's still some there, like you, just from like maybe sleeping or allergies or who knows. But it hasn't gone totally, but the dark circles has definitely like brightened up within a short space of time. Um, my skin has, although I got acne now because I drank a little bit of milk, like unorganic milk and egg cheese. Um, so I had a breakout recently of acne or spots or whatever. But um, in general, my skin's been a lot better since quitting smoking. Um, also, the most important thing is cardio. Uh, I don't really do cardio at the moment because I don't want to lose too much muscle or anything. But um, when I do do running, whether it's a short sprint or you know go on to on a bike for a little while, like man, it's so easy now, so easy. Before I felt like I was dying when you smoke. Your chest feels tight. And you can't breathe properly and stuff. Like cigarettes are fucked up, like seriously, like if you smoke cigarettes, like, and you doubt these thingies, like, these haven't been around a long time, so people, this could end up giving people fucking cancer in five years, loads of, everyone that vapes might have cancer, who knows, but right now, in general, this as a substitute for smoking cigarettes, man, it's made a huge difference on my life, like huge, man. I don't think of cigarettes, but, you know, I don't have to go outside in the cold to smoke all the time. Um, but people I do know, even myself, I tried this in September to quit cigarettes and go on to vaping in September. And um, I did it for like a day and then I carry on smoking cigarettes. It's not easy. But what I would advise is you get a good strength um, battery thing. Like this is a, I think this is a, or something volt, and I could I could twist it so it could be like three volts 
four volts or whatever, I could change the voltage. But I think about 3.5 to four, I would say four as a minimum is gonna give that nicotine harshness, that little kick. Um, so it's more like you're getting, it feels like you're actually smoking rather than just trying to suck in loads of hate. Um, get good strength, like voltage, and find a flavor that you love, you know? I've bought loads of different flavors, banana, yeah, it's all right, strawberry, yeah, it's all right. Um, these other ones, they're all right and stuff. Mint didn't like, um, fruit punch didn't like, but I got blueberry. This one's from VIP.com or VIPelectronics6.com. Um, it's a UK brand. Um, and they have blueberry bang. That is my flavor. Like that for me, I don't even want a real cigarette. I don't, like this is better than anything for me. Um, so find a flavor. Don't just try one e-cigarette and be like, oh, I don't like it. Try a few different flavors. Try a few different voltages and eventually or hopefully you'll find something that suits your taste buds and suits that works for you. Um, also, the strength of nicotine. Um, I think mine is like one point six or something like that. I, I, I don't know how it works, but um, you can get strong ones or medium ones. Mine is just the general lowest one that you can get um, because I, I didn't want to go onto a stronger one and then get used to it. So I just stay at the minimal nicotine one and. Um, there are times when I feel like I might need a little bit more nicotine, but I just puff a bit, a bit more, you know, or, you know, maybe char charge the battery up so it's as strong as it could be, and then you're fine. But honestly, training-wise, um, from bef before when I did smoke real cigarettes to smoking electronic cigarettes, huge difference. Like, I mean, like 500 times more I feel better with this than I did when I smoked cigarettes. Like, honestly. It really makes a huge difference. So if you get the opportunity um, or you've been thinking about vaping rather than smoking real cigarettes, just take the plunge, you know? A good time to do it is when you feel sick. I quit smoking at the beginning of the new year when I was just a bit, a bit groggy, had a bit of a sore throat. And um, so I didn't really want to smoke cigarettes. It was just too much. It made me feel even more sick. Um, so I started then. I, I was lucky. Um, because I, I just didn't want cigarettes anyway. So after a couple of days of just smoking this and then smoking the cigarette, it just, I didn't like it. So I think I was ready to quit as well. So it was pretty good.